My name is Ron Drescher. I'm an attorney practicing in bankruptcy and commercial litigation. And today I'd like to talk to you about objections to discharge. Anybody involved in the bankruptcy world will be able to tell you that an objection to discharge is a very serious thing with very serious consequences. Why? Discharge is the pot of gold at the end of the bankruptcy rainbow. It means that the debtor can get a fresh start, can work, can accumulate assets, can earn a living free from harassment or um, attempts of creditors to seize assets or garnish wages. Is that only honest debtors that are transparent with their creditors in the bankruptcy court have a right to receive a discharge in bankruptcy. When you file bankruptcy papers, you're assigning them under penalty of perjury. And these papers are looking for a comprehensive description of your assets and your debts and your income and your expenses. If you commit fraud, or a lot of courts say are even reckless or in casually indifferent to the truth or accuracy of what's in your bankruptcy papers, and the mistakes are material. The bankruptcy court will say you are not entitled to a discharge. That's an awful, awful result because you can't then go ahead and refile a bankruptcy case six months later and do it right this time and discharge your debts. Once a debt is not discharged because you've done something wrong, you're stuck with that debt forever. My name is Ron Drescher. I do consumer and business bankruptcy and commercial litigation. And if you have a question about any of this, I'd love for you to call me.